What is up, it's your boy J&W Boss in the building. We are back for another episode of AOA All Out Action Wrestling. And we got a lot, we had a lot of things that went down last week. Hopefully we can clear some things up. We're right here in Nashville, Tennessee. Let's get the show started. Well, um, okay. This is AOA. This is another episode of AOA. Welcome. And we're going to kick things off with Brock Lesnar. Now, the last time we saw Brock Lesnar was a couple of weeks ago in the match with Jay Morgan, which was interrupted by Austin, by Austin Kazarian, who, by the way, I should point out that him and Lesnar have a uh, one-on-one -on -one match at the AOA last stand pay-per-view. Because again, Lesnar still has a little bit of unfinished business with Kazarian after the Iron Man match from about a month ago at this point. Eh, close to a month ago at this point. But anyway, Brock is here and plus Fatal 4-Way, which uh, unfortunately, Lesnar and uh, Kazarian did not walk out of AOA World Champion. So Lesnar is still a little bit salty about that. He still wants his shot at the World Championship. But... Like everybody else, I'm going to have to work his way up. I'm going to have to really prove that he deserves a shot at the World Championship. Apparently, uh, apparently Heyman has selected an opponent for Lesnar. Because Lesnar was in the mood for a fight. And apparently, uh, since Kazarian did a match later on, uh, Paul Heyman set up a match. Talked to the guys and got a match set. Who the heck? Is this? That Blake and Murphy. Um, the heck is going on? Where? Okay, so Brock has a match against one of these guys. I mean, no offense, but like, I don't know. This could be a way for these two to kind of get a step in the right direction. You know? I mean, what a huge match um, for Z for. for I believe it's Blake that's going to be the one that's in action. I mean, I don't blame Murphy for being out here. Trust me, I really don't. But, uh, was this really the best choice? Out of all the opponents, Heyman could have thought of. He thought of Blake and Murphy? Why? With all the respect to them, just, just why? Oh, speaking of tag team, later on tonight, we will have a... Steel cage match to determine number one contender for the AOA Tag Team Championship as Wolfpack takes on the Asian Persuasion and what should be a phenomenal match between those two teams. Right now, we got Lesnar and a, yes it is uh yes it is Blake. Well, matchups underway, ladies and gentlemen, uh thank you all. For joining, I hope you guys enjoy the show. I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, the AOA uh, series, the AOA Universe mode so far. If you enjoy what you see, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and click the little bell icon. That way, you can see more of these AOA episodes. So, thank you all for watching this one in advance. And we got this thing started with Blake versus <laughs> versus. Brock Lesnar. Now, what, what, I wonder what point Hammond is trying to prove here. Having someone like Blake. Whoa, wait a minute. Never mind. I'm, I'm sitting there counting Blake out, but hold up. Blake is showing something here. I'm, I'm sitting there counting Blake out, but lo and behold, he's he's doing something here. I, w I wonder. I'm trying to. Well, I guess Heyman may have. You know, may have had something in mind. You know, when he when he chose these two, when he chose well Blake specifically. I mean, Murphy just there ringside, and Blake is 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 putting up a fight. What? Oh God! Oh God! That exploded though. That's how you stop momentum. That's how you really stop momentum. Brock is a freaking animal. And bet believe he got his eyes set for Kazarian at the AOA last stand pay-per-view. Right now, gonna probably use Blake as a, uh, as a way to teach a lesson, per se. 
And I'm gonna use Blake as a way to teach a lesson to Kazarian. Oh, oh, nice counter. Nice counter. Blake. Look out! Oh, trying to go for a back suplex and Lesnar said, nah, dog, we ain't having any of that. And just straight counters him. Wow. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I'm about to be surprised if we even snap suplex and just cover, but we'll break. Uh, Blake was uh, close enough to the rope and counted as a rope break. And we also have Rock Chan Suplex City. We may just get that. Right here tonight, Blake is in trouble. Blake is in huge trouble against Lesnar. Nice jawbreaker. I'll give credit where. The strength of Blake, though. Whoa! Strength of Blake. Probably catching. Oh, wait a minute. Now I got eye focus on uh, on uh, Murphy. Not really the best idea. I will probably keep more concerned about Blake. I'm surprised. Blake is showing something here. He is not backing down at all. I'll give credit where credit is due. Blake is not backing down. He is putting up a fight right now. Oh, God. Oh. Slamming the back of his head into the back. Blake is doing the thing right now, yo. This is insane. Green boy. Oh, 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 oh. We oh, oh, messed that up. Messed that up bad. And now ref is out. Hammond is now liking what he sees. As Brock just twists the head and neck of, of Blake and... I gotta say, I don't give credit to Blake where to do. He is not, he is not back down and he kind of held his own in this matchup. But uh, I think we may just put him see an end of this fairy tale story. Oh my God! Crowd wanted suplex city. They're getting it. Second suplex. That's the third. Oh God! Well. Blake put in a valiant effort. Tried his hardest. It was like a time. For an F5. There we go. F5 from Brock Lesnar straight into the cover. Two. And that's it for Blake. Good try. But uh I'm not not good enough on this. Lesnar. Showing his dominance. Hats off to him. Hats off to him. Hope Kazari was watching that, and I'm pretty sure they do too. But, uh, good outing for Wesley. Victory for Brock. Eh, interesting way to get the night nice started, indeed. Well, Mac Wolf gets to take on a debuting going Jay Richardson. Now, with everything they dealt with with Fat and whatnot, I think there's maybe a little bit of a change of pace there. You know what I'm saying? Well, he did lay Fat Two out in the back I mean, last week, so. Ooh. Maybe, maybe you may get a little bit of a break here. Maybe get a little bit of a change of pace. Because, uh, Andre Richardson, pretty quick on his feet. Apparently, the dude pretty quick on his feet and pretty good with his hands and kicks and everything else. So, you need to watch out. He calls himself the blueprint. Andre Richardson. And anyway, with all that being said, I wish Mac Wolves the best of luck in this match. All right. It should be an interesting one. It should be, should be pretty, should be a good match too. I can't wait. I'm excited. Let's see what he can do. Well, Mac Wolf is in the ring. He's ready to compete. It's go time. He gets a chance to take on a debuting Andre Richardson. Where the heck is it? Where, where, oh, oh, what the? That dude just dragged Richardson out here. What the? What the ambush him? And it looks like he's taking his place. Okay, we get a little bit of taste of AOA. What the heck was that just happened? Okay, well, this match is official. Oh, oh, okay, apparently this match is official now. What the? The fact, too, took it upon himself to take out Andre. And I guess that's a way to get his hands on Wolf and this match is official. These two are going to compete against each other again in two weeks. About two weeks. Or, yeah, about two weeks. And they only last man pay-per-view. We get to see a little bit early. We get to see a little bit early. Hopefully we don't see no interference this time. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure Fat Dude wants some revenge. And as he removes the time marker, I'm pretty sure Fat Dude wants some revenge from last week as he got laid out in the locker room. He got laid out in the back line. And Mac Wolf is a max out. The heck is that? Anyway, this should be entertaining. Oh, close line sending that two straight into the corner. I think it is. Throw him. Oh, gonna throw him straight spine first right into the exposed turnbuckle, followed by a snap super like Max Wolf. Starting to get it on top of his game here, straight into the cover. And a kick out. You guys have been going at it for weeks and weeks now. And they're gonna come to a head at AOA last stand, hopefully. Man, unless they got some more pent up animosity that they want to unleash on each other. And so far, Max Wolf is doing good, has the chin lock going, but it looks like that too. There we go, it's about to fight his way out of that thing. Not a bad idea. You don't want to get caught up in something like that. Got him overhead. Oh, his elbow. That's that too. Straight to a DDT. And man, these two guys are going to have a killer match against each other. And it's about time for the AOA last, match at last stand because we're getting a little bit of a preview right now. Nice snap suit play. Nice snap suit black by Fat 2. Super kick. Missed it. Trying to go for a backbreaker. Counters again. Gets caught with a super kick. That bad move. Good guys. Straight into the cover. One, two. Ooh. Close call. Very close call. That's who continuing to go to work here. Felt like he almost had that. I mean, he's got a little bit of frustration there, too. Here we go. And again. Whoa. Oh. We're trying to fire him with a clothesline. That didn't really work. Now, here we go. Mac Wolf and Matthew fighting on the outside. Well, they were. Mac Wolf is going to decide to bring this thing back into the ring. I can't wait later on, later on tonight for our special champion versus challenger. Mass, and of course, we got a steel cage match. The winner becomes number one contender for the AOA Tag Championships. And oh my God, DDT. Straight on to the apron. Why? Mac Wolf. It's probably maybe out on his feet. I mean, somehow they was to get something going there, but you know, he's probably out on his feet after something like that. Good God, that dude's just thrilling his head into the apron. Now, Fat Two got all the momentum. Try to count of three. That dude's in a little bit of that swagger going, feeling confident in himself. They kick to the side, they kick to the rib. That was like a count of four. Wait a minute. That's only kind of five now. And now Fat 2, they got sent over the barricade here. What the heck is going on? And we're at a count of six. That 2 going to knock him back over. What the heck is this? Now, this is a physical fight right here. Oh. And Mac Wolf keep bringing it to him. Mac Wolf keep bringing the fight to Fat 2. Nine. I don't think Mac Wolf cares. Now the count out. I don't think these two guys care. These two guys are just gonna unload on each other continuously. And they're battling out here in the crowd, but Mac Wolf looks like he's starting to get something going. And apparently, wait, what? Wait, what the heck? Okay. Apparently, I'm getting word from the church saying we're getting this noise. We're gonna let these two just guys just go at it. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. We're gonna just let these two go at it here. And now these two guys are just fighting all the way up in the crowd. This is the second week in a row we can't contain these two. Mac Wolf is unloading on Fat Two. This is the second week in a row. We just, I think, yeah, we just, yeah, the decision been made. We're just gonna let these two fight it out. We're just gonna let these two just straight up just fight it out here. Fat Two slamming Wolf's head straight into the. Dang! Yo! He's just saying, what you gonna let this? Oh, God! That prank on the floor! This is how AOA get down, dog! What you gonna let these two kill each other? Drop kick! This is gonna be crazy! Are we ever, are we gonna ever get some type of closure here? 
Man, if you think this is physical right now. Wait, what? For real? Word? Okay, you know what? AOA is officially the best place to be. AOA is officially just the best place to be. <laughs> I guess ZI is a parallel urban truck. ZI is getting sick of this whole thing. So they decided. At AOA last stand, Max Wolf and Matt Dewey are going to face each other in a fall count anywhere match. You bet believe we're getting a little bit of a preview of that right now. These two are going to just kill each other all throughout this arena right here. Good gosh, man. I get the fans there in Nashville get more of what they bargained for. Welcome to AOA. For those of you all who have never seen this brand of entertainment, this brand of action before, this is all out action, and we're just going to let these two fight, apparently. These two guys are apparently just getting free reign to just kill each other all across this whole arena. This is going to be the wild, this is going to be a wild night, man. This is going to be an absolutely wild night, bro. And, oh, Fat 2 with a knee to the gut. These three guys are just killing each other. Just slugging it out, going blow for blow with Mac Wolf. Getting a little bit of the upper hand here in this exchange, at least at the moment. And the Fat 2 now is going to send him straight into the barricade at Zang. And, and this is what we're getting now. These two guys get to go out and fall out anywhere in this <laughs> anyway, last stand. You were talking about some insane stuff, my dude. That's gonna be it right there. God, these two guys are killing each other. And look at this. The, ooh, taking them down. On here, right out here on the floor. They're on the concrete floor, yo. They're on the concrete floor. Northern Light Suplex. Check this out. Yo, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Look at this. Mac Wolf. Oh! That backbreaker. Straight on the floor. Gonna drag. Gonna drag Wolf out to the center. Man, what the heck is this? What the world is this? Mac Wolf from the top of the stage with the full moon to the back of the head. Good gosh, man. This is insane. Max out. Once again, Mac Wolf. Getting the upper edge. Matt once again, Mac Wolf getting the last words here. This is insane, yo. Wait a minute, we're in the backstage area. Reaper's busted open. And oh no. No, this Mac man again. Oh my goodness. Bring Reaper straight into the television monitor. You have got to be kidding me. How in the heck is this man still even getting into the arena week after the week? It's a sickening. How do people keep getting into the arena? That's the second time! Bruh! And Reaper looked like he was in worse shape. What? If, whatever. We're, we're gonna move on. Akira teams with Brie Bella to take on the team of Trish Stratus and Lita. Now, Akira has a number one contender, as is the number one contender for the AOA Women's Championship and we'll take on Trish Stratus at AOA last day. Bree decided to opt out. Yes, she did have her contendership, but she feels that, pump on that, I'm getting my revenge for what Lita did to my sister. So, Lita and Bree have the match at AOA last day. You know, Bree, she coming out of all smiles and whatnot now, but man, I bet money she got revenge on her mind. Because I don't know about you, but uh, I will be on the salty side too if someone ambushed one of my relatives and took them out of action. Yeah, I would be. I would be. And bet money Bree got it. Wait, can't wait for AOA last stand, bro. Because that's her moment. That's gonna be her moment of revenge. That's gonna be her moment of I'm finally getting this chick for everything she's done over the past couple of months. And Akira, a new person on campus, so the question is, is she gonna be able to uh, beat Trish Stratus? Who, like it or not, is at the top of her game right now. Speaking of which, here she is. 
Alien Women Champion defeated Brie Bella in order to get it. We spoke to we spoke to Akira over the past couple of weeks. She said, "Hey, Trish says she was the top woman in charge. I'm I know I'm new, but that doesn't mean I can't make an impact. That doesn't mean I can't make a statement and a victory over Lita." And from how she approached Trent, not backing down, not being intimidated, being the new person, you gotta respect that. You gotta really respect that. And she said, yes, she's aware that Bree was next in line. So she wasn't doing that in a way to cut in front. So she said, whenever she beats Trish Stratus at AOA last stand and becomes the new AOA Women's Champion, she said, Bree gonna get the first shot. Now, yeah, that's pretty generous. That's pretty generous. But, uh,. You have to beat Trish first, and that's not going to really be an easy task. I don't have to do shit. Here comes Lita. Trish's tag team partner. She had a match with Akira last week, and when she was unsuccessful, tapped out to that dragon sleeper. So I'm pretty sure Lita that might want to keep an eye out for that dragon sleeper, just in case Akira decides to lock it in again. But anyway, this should be one way or another. A lot of bad blood and animosity between D4. Not really with each other, well, Tristan, well, Far Bree and Akira are not really with each other. But anyway, a lot of the animosity, all the bad blood more than there, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing kind of broke down and what do you know? We're gonna get Akira and Trish to start this match off. Maybe a little bit of a, however another things to come because these two do have an AOA Women's Championship match at AOA last stand against each other. This is going to be very exciting. And Trish, a nice low drop kick straight to the face. going to wear down the young Akira early on. So you think, even if you really think about it, you feel that Trish maybe felt a little bit threatened. You know, a little bit threatened. Maybe didn't expect Akira to, to, to show up. You know, with the fire, with the energy, with the impact that she did, and so far she's held her own against some of the some great women there on this roster. I mean, she made her debut, had a successful debut against Becky Lynch, and then last week picking up the victory over Lita. That really got to give her confidence, and that really kind of got to also worry Trish at that same token. For, for you know, for what can happen at AOE Last Stand, because if you really think about it. Akira can be real quick to rise here in AOA by beating Trish and only her well will probably will maybe be like one of her, her third maybe fourth match here in AOA I'm saying something here we go right now they're gonna wear down sure I'm gonna work on the women's champion here we go brief firing up Wow boot straight to the face straight into the cover here we go on the kick out Kick out by Trish Stratton. Ray Bella is on a roll. Nice bulldog. Taking down the women's champion. And so far, you know, Bree definitely, definitely got a bone to pick with Trish because, you know, Bree, oh, that's since the curry by Bree. But Trish beat her to become the new AOA women's champion. So, man, believe she wants that belt back, you know. That's the reason she wants every part of that belt back. And she gets her hands on Trish right now, which is definitely not a bad thing. Look at this. That's it. Here we go. That's that scissor by Trish. I mean, you don't have to like her attitude, but you have to say she's um, pretty athletic in what she does inside that ring. And now while Bree got her focus on Trish, she might want to turn around because lead it right there. When I just took the world slam. Taking Bree down, now the leg drop, and now Lita is about to take control of this matchup for her team. You know, Lita probably felt a little bit embarrassed after the loss last week. And so, of course, she kind of coming into the thing a little bit something to prove. You know, she got something to prove, and need to get some of that energy back and some of that fire back in her. And here we go, gonna go straight for the cover. One, and a kick out by Bree. Oh, I kicked it side of the head. And so far, Bree, ever since we've gotten this matchup, is in huge trouble. I guess that's kind of what Bree gets for having that, that tunnel vision. Focusing on, on Trish. Here we go. 
Well, speaking of tag team master, if you want to talk about him, you know, funny thing is, this is not really the only form of this dynamic we're going to see because our main event later tonight in a special champions versus challengers tag team matchup, and we're going to have Monster teaming with the United States champion A2J, Monster our AOA world champion, teaming with our United States champion. <laughs> Wait, former United States champion A2J to take on Team Wicked here tonight. But again, the question is, is Reaper once again going to be able to make it to the match due to the ambush from earlier? Twist the fate by Lita. Here we go. We're going to go straight into the cover. The Kira going to get in the ring now. And ooh, out of sight set on Trish. But Trish with a kick to the back and so far. Looks like breathing trouble, but here we go. He's gonna finally fight out of the thing. Oh, nice drop kick. Killer drop kick. Killer drop kick by Bree, knocking Lita down. Forearm, dang. Blacking her in the mouth. I mean, you bet money. She put so much force behind that because of what Lita did to Nikki back at AOA, back at AOA Conquer All. By putting her head in the chair and then like dropping the chair. Oh my god, look at that. What the world is this? What in the world is this? Lita taking Brie up to the top rope. Oh gosh. The super black to the outside. Good gosh. And now Akira. Gonna go ahead and send Lita back in the ring. But dang, oh my god. Gosh, oh, Bree is okay after taking a fall like that. Oh my goodness, Bree got to be feeling that. Here comes Trish, and when Bree is hurt, referee, I'm gonna get Trish, I'm gonna kind of back Trish off here. But dang, that was a nasty fall for for Bree. I'm gonna get her shoulder ram straight into the steel pole. Now back to the ooh, that's alley -oop. I guess alley -oop bomb you can say. And now Trish is feeling all sorts of confident breathing. Huge trouble. I'm taking that superplex to the outside, straight to the floor. But I mean now Bree trying to fight back here. Bree trying to get some momentum, nice drop kick. Trying to ooh, trying to go for another one, misses. And you can tell she's still feeling the effect of that superplex to the outside. Here we go. Reed sent getting sent off into the corner here. I even I ain't that ref. That's a choke. That's a choke. You gonna do your job? Nope. Okay. Gonna allow the choke to happen then. Referee fighting back though. Gonna do whatever she can despite the referee not really doing his job. Here we go. Ooh. Thank God, Trish planting her the DDT and Bree is in all kinds of trouble here. Straight kick to the rib. You know she's probably gonna be feeling this going into. This. To a match Sunday, but now look at this. Looks like Bree is about to get some some sort of momentum. Here we go. Here comes Akira. Akira finally back in this thing. Goes to work on the arm of Trish. Heading off the rope. Nice head scissor taking Trish down. Akira coming to this thing like a house of fire and elbow an elbow drop. Can't even speak. Can't even speak because the speed of Akira is so quick. I think the word that's about sometimes, man. Especially if you're the only one doing the commentary. It's tough. Anyway, just trying with the fireman's carry. Here we go. Wow, that's this is again taking Trish down. Dang. And what an up that it can be. Picked up a whatever Becky Lynch. Whoa, that monkey flip. Going up top. Ooh, got to go for the splash. Out of the corner. Didn't really work. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Chop straight to the chest. Got him. Got the knee. Northern Light. Soup play. Killing over the Northern Light. Straight back up. Gonna try it again. Unfortunately, uh, this Iris move right here hasn't really been working out for her. Maybe she may think, may want to think about changing her strategy. Maybe she want to really think about changing her strategy. Oh, look at this. Hey, wait a minute, now referee going to back up Akira. Maybe I'm going to probably start the 10 count at this point. Look at this. 
Chris Johnson getting up to her feet. Here, oh, maybe she has to think of top of the top rope. Uh, maybe, I don't know, couldn't get enough speed, can get the height or whatever the case may be. You see a fight out here on the floor. This is a couple of back elbows. We've got a, a now, the announce table repair. Then they get sent over. Then they get sent over the, to the announce table. And now they're fighting out here on the floor. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Lee that and jump down and try to enter, insert herself into this situation. And they're going to work on the knees. Runs out of count of five. These ladies have a, about five more seconds to get back into the ring. Look at this. That's at a count of seven. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We may be, we may be close to a count out here. That's at a count of seven. Now, obviously, maybe sees the situation on the outside. And it gives these ladies a little bit of leeway. That's at a count of eight and nine. They're both back in. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, he's gonna go for something. Trish counter with a forearm. Look at this. Go for a net breaker. Solid net breaker, that is. Drop kick straight to the back. Trish off the drop kick to the back, and it goes straight for the cover. And a kick out by Akira. Now, wait a minute. Akira popping up. Let's go. Fire. Oh, she was firing up. Look at this. Moonsault. Over the top. Akira starting to fire back. Clothesline after clothesline. Ducks under. Tilt the world backbreaker. Kira feels like he's ready to go. That's Spine Buster taking down Trish. Look at Insane, yo. This is absolutely insane. Scoop plan now. He's going ham. He's going absolutely ham. Oh, that was again. Up over her shoulder, Akira counter. Back and forth. Man, and just, and just think whatever we see the two go at it one on one. Ooh, elbow straight to the top of the head. Heel kick, though. Decking her with that heel kick. Straight into the cover. Ooh. Lita preventing the three count. Now, Lita got that front face lock in and gonna send Akira off into the corner. And, um, um, oh, wait a minute. We probably need to get some, uh, get some officiating going on here. Lita gets sent out to the apron, but Bree gonna take a cheap shot at Trish. And, oh, wait a minute. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Now gonna take a shot at Lita. It's all over the place. I knew we were gonna break down. I knew something was gonna happen, and this thing was gonna break down. Lita and Trish, Lita and uh, Bree fighting it out on the floor on the inside of the ring. Akira and Trish, nice counter, hit through the back of the leg. No, add it on the wheel. Oh, God. Take this out. That's Stratus faction. Trish Stratus levels her with the Stratus faction straight into the cover. I need to get over there. One, two, and unfortunately that's it. Bree was a little bit too slow. And Trish and Lita get... These four women went at it. But, this strat is getting that strat of faction on Akira. Unfortunately, that means Trish and Lita get the win. But, keep in mind, Trish can do that Sunday and retain her championship. That would be great. Trish and Lita getting it done. Now we move on here with this show. We have Austin Kazarian versus Sean Wright. Now Austin Kazarian kind of, I don't know, maybe it's kind of lost his mind a little bit over the past couple of weeks. Because last time we saw this guy, he attacked Morgan and Lesnar right before, during, no, during their match, on the match to get thrown out. That sucked. But anyways... Kazarian has a match against Brock Lesnar at AOA Last Stand. And they're going to do their little unfinished business that they got going on. So my question is, what the heck is going on with Kazarian? Because I've been trying to get word from him 
over the past couple of weeks. He wasn't he wasn't at the show last week. If I'm correct, he was not at the show last week. And now he's here tonight. But it's like I don't know, it seems like he kind of a different man. You know, he still got that I mean, honestly, kind of like he lost that, that, that cocky attitude. And I guess it may be for the better. But then again, I don't know. It may still have that cocky attitude, but knows how to switch it if need be. I don't know. Let's see what he can do against Sean Wright. And I think it's all right. And then the ring. Wait for Sean Wright. And there he is. It's, Wallace is attacking him from behind. What the heck is going on? Yo, Wallace has officially gotten out of control. I mean, getting himself to qualify and doing all that crazy stuff last week and now this week attacking him before the match. It looks like Sean good to go. We're going to go ahead and continue with this matchup, but dang, that's a rough start. And there we go. Underway officially, but Sean got that got attacked by Wallace right before, and of course, I believe Kazarian is going to take advantage of that. No one how slick, no one how uh, sly he can be. Ooh, oh, that's countered by, by Sean getting out of the way of that. Of that leg drop by Kazari. This should be a stellar matchup between these two men. You know, Sean is probably still feeling a little bit of the effect of the attack last week from the attack that Wallace just did. And also, probably the attack, probably the attack on, uh, that just happened to him a couple minutes ago. You know, the head, probably going to be a main target. But Kazarian, right now, got an arm bar locked in after he delivered a uh, neck breaker to Sean. Here we're going to Sean, fighting out of it. Straight shot, straight into the head. Ooh, and I go for over him. Sorry, but I believe uh, Kazarian is the stronger of the two. But did you see that Sean? Pretty quick on his feet, too. I mean, I mean, not taking anything away from any stretch of the mean. Nice double axe handle taking him down. Here we're going to Sean, we're going to look to continue his offense. Continue with flurry of offense on Kazarian. And, oh, they're looking for a back elbow. Didn't really work with Kazarian right there. Shot straight to the midsection. Look at this. Pump handle. Cup buster. Earth kind of in the way, so I couldn't see the move for a moment. It's all good. And now Kazarian's not doing the turnbuckle rev. You might want to check that. And, oh, okay. Get the guys are going out of here. Look at this. That's Mission Oku slant. Wow. That's. That's moved by Sean in a rope break. And allows Kazarian to still stay in this matchup. Ooh, straight right hand, straight to the midsection. Meant to leave. Kazarian is usually the one that, you know, that's kind of being outside, honestly. He's kind of a, uh, somewhat of a small guy in his own right. So, you know, so usually Kazarian having to fight up. But now, this is a match in which Kazarian can actually use his, kind of use his strengths here to his advantage. You're gonna do just that, going to work on Sean. Gonna go straight for the cover. Feels like he can put him away off of that. Ooh, no call. Sean stays in this thing. Ooh, look at the head and again, you know, he's probably still feeling the attack. Remember, he got hit with a chair, got brain buster and all that fun stuff last week. And now this week, got, got his head ran into the stairs. Met believe not a fun day in the neck of the wood. Bring more frog flash. Springboard frog flash by Kazarian. Take it to Sean. Oh, trying to go for a super kick. Didn't work. Sean is ready to rock and roll. That's the thing I think about Sean. He's always ready to go. Always ready to jump up and do the dang thing. Ooh. Kicking him around. Just kicking him away. Doing what he got to do. Sean heading out to the apron. Waiting on him. It is. It's like... Got him up to a feet. I don't know what, what Sean probably is thinking about doing. Oh, trying to go for a cross body. Didn't really work. I'm trying to go for a cross body. Unfortunately, uh, didn't have the reach that he thought he did. And now Kazar is going to take advantage with the shining with it to the back of the head. Good guys. Rainbow frog flash to the back. I'm gonna wear Sean down. Sean is getting wore out here by Kazarian here in this matchup. Wait a minute, nice counter by Sean. Work on the shoulder. Or had a plan of working on the shoulder. Nice arm drag though. 
That's not going to counter. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Whoa! That move is always impressive. I do not know what it is, but that move is always impressive. Straight into the cover and a two count. Ooh, he's going to go for a double axe handle. Kazarian has the wherewithal to move out of the way in a super kick straight into the midsection. Good guy. Kazarian is on fire. Right about now in this matchup. Oh, this suplex, nice vertical suplex, sending him overhead, and Sean has just really been unable to get any amount of offense going here against Kazarian, and he just is pummeling him, targeting the head, targeting the neck, which got planted into the steel step just moments ago, bring more frog flash again, going to stomp him out now, now wait a minute, Ooh, nice back elbow. Nice back elbow. Look at this. That flipping power driver. Got him. Called out the Nightmare on Lee. Straight into the cover. And oh my God. Very close to on the part of Sean. He busted that move out of nowhere. Very impressive. And now Sean going to use this opportunity to probably hopefully get himself back into this matchup. And, oh, nice net breaker. He is what I what he like to call the nightmare on leash. Let me know. Up in the top rope. Springboard. Oh, he's trying to go for a springboard drop kick. Unfortunately, falling short. I bet Wallace is watching this and probably is laughing about this. Absolutely loving this. Because Again, he has a match against the dude in a couple of weeks that they only last stand and Sean for the second week in a row is busted open. Sean for the second week in a row is, is busted open. Brimbore, frost flash again by Kazarian and good God. Sean is without question probably going to walk into AOA last stand. Not at 100%. I mean, think about the beating that he took last week. The beating that he's taking right now in the hand of Kazarian is it, it, going to be a wild night, yo. It's going to be a wild night, yo. It's going to be a pretty much of a wild night for a, for, for for Sean coming to AOA last stand. Wait a minute. He got him. Kazarian got him in that submission move. We've seen him hit locking in before. Is he going to make Sean tap here? Is he going to make Sean tap? Sean is fighting, and he was able somehow to fight out of the hold. Wow. The fight is still going to continue. These two guys are going at it. Look at this. Flipping him. Ooh. He's just straight punch straight to the mouth, straight to the head. And look at this. Now he's going to lock it in again. And I think this time, Sean may actually be close enough to the rope where he can actually reach out and grab the rope. This is the second time, this is the second time Eric Kazarian got his hole locked in. And again, Sean is able to fight out the hole. Ooh, damn. He's hit shirt with a jaw, a jawbreaker. Here we go. The DDT. Taking him with that DDT. Setting up Kazarian. Here we go, off the rope. Silent Dream Super Kick misses. Try to go for that Silent Dream Super Kick miss. And now Kazarian, of course, is taking every, 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 every advantage of this opportunity. And go for that pump handle. Wait a minute. Sean Counter. Sean Counter. Can we see Sean? Sean Wright make a comeback in this matchup. And throw him into the corner. Look at this. A rope. Knees. Drop kick. Let's go. Let's go. Sean Wright firing up. Four. Ooh. Sean Wright is making a huge comeback into the things. Get him up to his feet. And Sean, so maybe he's. Thinking about something different. Maybe he thought he had something in mind. Silent Dream Super Kick. 
Maybe that was his plan. That Kazarian guessing is because oh my god, Kazarian gushing blood. He's a cover though. Oh my god, Kazarian is still in this match. What a match this is. Sean Wright and Kazarian is just going at it. Just going at the movie at it. Got him over his shoulder. Oh god, he used power, power slam, thin out power slam that is. And wait a minute now, Kazarian gonna go through the wall. Wait a minute, he's using the he's using rope for leverage. He's using the rope for leverage. Oh, even with him trying to use the rope for leverage. Didn't really work. Oh, and pushing him off. Here we go. Ooh, Kazarian's just straight up scouting him on that one, you know. And just scouting him on that. Kazarian going up top. It's, whoa, the burn 450 by Kazarian. As cunning as the dude is, I got to give credit where credit is due. This dude, given, given him some credit here, is actually very athletic if we just saw right there. You see Kazarian feel like he's the man and he got this thing. Him and Sean are just going at it right now, yo. This is insane. Bring more for a flash again. That's the third time, like the third time in this matchup. He's catching with a springboard for all flat, but Sean with a jawbreaker. Ooh, walk, walk, or Kazarian shot straight into the head. She got him a thrown hand. Just throwing absolute hand. Oh, that did knock him off the apron. That didn't work. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. Oh, God. Back suplex straight on the apron, straight on the LED board. That wasn't just apron. He smashes back against that LED board. Oh gosh. And now Kazarian hammering that knee. This is a freaking spectacle right here. We are witnessing an absolute spectacle of talent. That is insane. Ooh. Throwing rip first, right into the apron. And, the, and again, the LED board's there too. Ooh! Oh, head first against the. Oh, God, that was head first. That's the side of the cave. Referee had a count of five. Sean sling, slinging Kazarian back in. Here we go. Springboard drop kick. Didn't connect all of it. Sean did not connect all of it, but he connected enough to do some damage to Kazarian. And we know Sean. He may be trying to finish this thing up. He may be trying to wrap this thing up. Here we go. Off the rope. Oh, trying to go for a back elbow, though. You two got it going at it. Just back and forth. And a huge snapper taking him back in. Look at this. Oh, that's arm drag. Taking him down. Oh, back slip over the top. Oh. And Kazarian's trying to go for a kick. Sean sending him flying first. Right into the exposed turn buckle. I guess that's kind of what uh, Kazarian gets for trying to play dirty. And wait a minute, gonna get him, I'm gonna try to call him up again. See if he can hit it right this time. He's up. Three more. Drop kick. Straight to the face. Sean is feeling it. This crowd is feeling it. We love this right here. Silent Dream Super Kick. The Silent Dream. And then going for the Nightmare on Lee. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Kazarian counter. Kazarian counters the Nightmare on Lee. And now look at this Kazarian again. The, oh God, that Instagram. Sean with it. Oh my God, this is a spectacle. This got me the, this is an absolute spectacle that we're witnessing. Look at this. Got him set up. Wait a minute. And that AK driver. AK driver. Kazarian. Kazarian planning Sean Wright. We're gonna go straight for the cover. Yo, that's gotta be it. Dude, everything that Sean Wright have gone through in this matchup. That got him! Whoa! Jump the top over again! Oh god! Yep, 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 this time coming out. 
Oh, well, Shaw made it to the rope. He was technically neck to the rope. He was technically right neck to the rope when he did that. So that is technically a correct call. Oh, God, the fellow kicked straight to the face and good God. Sean is a bloody mess right now. In fact, Sean is bleeding to an absolute heat right now. Oh my God, he's constantly kicked to the face. That's not helping anyone. That is not helping anyone. Springboard, frog flash. Sean is a bloody heap right now. Springboard, frog flash, straight to the rim. Yo, that gotta be, that gotta be it, yo. That, dang. Cause Iron picks up the win, but good gosh, what a fight. Now, Wallace aside, what happened with Sean and Wallace before the match aside, these two put on a freaking clinic out there. But half off to Kazarian picking up the win, going, getting momentum. No, Lesnar, I hope you were watching that, man. Because if you weren't, that's fine. Because you're going to get everything and then some at AOA last stand. You wonder why I did what I did? Because I'm sick and tired of being held back. I'm sick and tired of being held down. I am Austin Kazarian. I am the man. And as the man, I know that I will, should be in a much better place than I am right now. I should be world champion. In fact, that should be me getting a shot at the AOA world championship right now. But no, that's not happening. And it's because of people like you and people like Morgan. Well, you know what? I'm done with all that. I'm putting an end to that right now. Because Brock, whenever you and I get in that ring, <laughs> I'm going to prove to you exactly why I belong. I'm going to prove to you exactly why I should be the champion. So right as of this moment, Kazarian's road to redemption begins. And at last stand, Brock, you're mine. You know, I could tell something was up with Kazarian. I mean, the frustration. You know, it, I mean, and yeah, Kazarian have felt like you've been held back. I mean, he, he kind of has a good point, but to a certain extent, he also brought it upon himself for kind of making all the wrong people mad. But Kazarian, I got that seriousness about him. Okay, let's see, let's see what he can do at last stand. Well, Kazarian spoke his mind. I mean, what can, what can, what more can I say? He spoke his mind. You know, he released all that. I guess. Pent up frustration, but when it looks at things, look like <laughs> that is still going to continue. And in the meantime, it's time to crown number one contender for the AOA Tag Team Championship. And Wolfpack is set to take on the Asian persuasion of Young Lee and Ten Shi, who made the return a couple of weeks ago, attacking the Wolfpack right before the tag match with the club. So these two teams have been kind of going on and off since like day one and the last time we saw Asian Persuasion was back at AOA Most Wanted so it's been a while since we've seen them and the reason that they were gone for so long is that they fell after that loss when they had the tag team championships in their grasp for the second time they said they felt like you know we need to step back we need to step back we need to kind of recuperate and get ourselves together and then come back whenever we feel that we're ready so they apparently Back home, they did some sort of training. They worked out. They kind of worked together. They discussed some things that they need to do to, to get themselves back in the tag team title picture. Not only that, but to get them the tag team championship because Asian Persuasion, like them or not, they do got the potential. They got big time potential to be AOA tag team champion, but they feel that Wolfpack is the only team that's really standing in their way. I mean, because Wolfpack has had these guys' number. A lot of the time, but here we go. Now we, now we probably might see who's a better team, maybe once and for all, in a steel cage match. And with the winner, huge implications, winner being number one contender for the AOA Tag Team Championship is Asian Persuasion making their way down to the ring. You can tell they're focused. You can tell they're, you know, a little bit more, I guess, aggression, a little bit more emotion behind this for both teams and especially surrounded by this cage you know the cage is going to come to play as a weapon but the interesting thing about this match is that you can only win this thing via escape 
So there got to be some sort of strategy for both teams going into this match, knowing that escape is the only way out. Asian persuasion, ready to rock and roll. Wolfpack is ready to go. This should be an exciting matchup for crown number one contender. As the cage slowly starts to lower. And here we go, matchup is officially underway. Number one contendership is on the line for the AOA Tag Team Championship. Spike and Young Lee at on one side, Brian and Tank Shield on the other. And Young Lee with a kick straight to the leg. Now, maybe a little bit difficult to call a lot of these things because a lot going to be happening at one time, especially with, you know, all four of these guys being in here at one time. And like there, Brian trying to go for a Phoenix Splash. And unfortunately came up short and 10 she's on top of them and now it looks like the Asian Persuasion got control of this thing. And I bet one of you know the club is sitting back watching this because they got again they gotta save one of these teams. Look at this. Oh, 10 she get kept him burn with a fireman's carry. Here we go. Viking sent those a rope, try to get hit with a super kick with 10 she on the other side. Catch him burn with a Dang, okay, it's back. It is straight up back and forth. Every time I'm about to say one thing happened, something else happened that really kind of changed the momentum of the, of the matchup. And so far, no team has had 100% control. Well, now, never mind, the Asian Persuasion has kind of got 100% control. But notice the amount of control these teams have is only like for a brief second because the other members of the team is generally, you know, starting to make a comeback on his side. And Young Lee. Is slowly about to just go ahead and exit the cage here. And with Seth burned down, not, not a bad idea, but Spike is right there, unfortunately, when he pulled him back. Pulled him back on top of Burn, but look at this. And 450 by Spike. Tenshi hits the missile drop kick. Look at this. Oh, that's over. And she's a nice job right here. Ooh. No vegan. Check. Absolutely deck with a super kick, fight with a DDT. Look at this. And wait a minute, here we go. Now the spike using the cage as a weapon. And now Wolfpack, it looks like Wolfpack is the first team to really get control of this matchup. Oh, and Tenshi using the cage now by slamming his head straight into it. And she got him up for a power bomb and burn on the other side with Young Lee. I wonder what's going to be there. But right now, Tenshi's trying to climb off the cage. Burr is like, nah, dog. And it happened to do. Pulls him back down, but Young Lee to the top rope now. And this, this is going to be crazy. That fireman's kick. Ooh. Huge drop kick by Young Lee from the top rope. Going to continue to now work on the leg of Spike. Because Spike likes to fly around. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Spike is, look at this. Young Lee's down. Oh, Young Lee's about to get out of the cage. Spike is down. Burn is occupied with Tim Shi. Wait a minute, look at this. It, Young Lee is out. Young Lee is out of the cage. And Tim Shi with a belly to belly to burn, but now Spike is back up to his feet. And now I got one guy that's left in the matchup and burn slowly makes his way back to his feet that's i guess that may be a smart move as spike hits the cage again that may be a smart move but the problem is now tenshi is in a two-on-one -on -one situation oh tenshi with a nice uh reverse ddt to burn the spike again is right there and again this is the problem now tenshi is in a two-on-one -on -one situation here unless one of these two guys climb out if i was Wolf pack here. I would just use this opportunity. Oh! Trying to go for a innovative combo there with Burn doing a drop kick with Sent. Tenshi out and Spike trying to go for a super kick, but mm, nope. Here we go. Find his carry. Oh wait, never mind. Detonation kick. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what he was going for there. But Burn's gonna go ahead and get out of this thing. And a spike. Looking at Tenshi. Now he's going to try to make an escape. Burn, on his, burn just about out at this point. But Tenshi getting kicked off by Spike. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, now we got him. I think now we got him this time. Gonna, wait a minute. Spike still fights them all. 
And he's at the top now. Bike through the oh gosh, he tried. Bike tried to put the nail in the coffin. Didn't really work. Oh my god, this thing is planted straight on the back of his head. And, and Spike tried to do one too many. Now wait a minute, now I'm confused there. Now Tenshi could just get out the cage right now. I mean Spike kinda got dropped on the back of his head. You know, straight on the back of his head. And, but Tenshi though is gonna inflict some more punishment. Now, you also kinda wonder, is this really a smart idea? I mean, because his partner's outside. It's down to one and one. Only one person needs to get out of this cage to win. So, now Spike is back up. Tenshi and Spike are going at Oh my goodness, Tenshi with that spear. I think that may be, the, yeah, that may have just been the final curtain call. Tenshi leveling Spike with the spear, but Spike is able to get back up to his feet. And he's going to go ahead and get Tenshi down from this cage. And we're going to continue here with these two being the final two Representing their individual teams and now all the other three men got to do is just look on They just, they just got to look on and just think, ooh Spike sent an intense sheath straight into his cage now if you think about it The agent of Slayton could have won that match right there. I mean since he had him Right where he wanted him After dropping him on his head, ooh, man, he's flapjack Huge flatjack by, by Tenshi. Now we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Spike is still laid out, and after all the punishment that Spike has taken in this matchup, do you really, you really think that he's gonna be able to stop them at this point? And no, no, he isn't. Tenshi climbing down the other side, one way or another. And the Asian Persuasion are the number one contender. Asian Persuasion pick up the victory and are the number one contender. For the AOA Tag Team Championship and AOA Last Dance. What a solid performance by both teams. Both teams put in a good amount of effort. But Spike, unfortunately, tried to do a little bit too much. But on that same token, Tenshi almost missed out on a huge opportunity to win the thing. But Asian Persuasion able to pick it up. And they go to Last Dance to take on the club for the Tag Team. Tag. Tender the crown. Crazy things have happened. Now, I'm, now let's see if how demon does in this handicap well originally tag match but no whoever that mad dude is somehow got into the building again we need up security for real <laughs> but anyway the attack reaper probably left him in worse shape than he did last week because he was all bleeding and busted up and all that so question is how are we going to do now and again, even with the chainsaw, why, 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 why is this dude allowed to carry the chainsaw into the building? Good grief. Why, why is he allowed to carry a chainsaw into the building? Why, I, why, I don't know why is he allowed to carry, to, to carry a freaking chainsaw into the arena. It makes no sense. But anyway, I mean, I understand the handicap so he may end up, Need to resort to it, please though. No. But anyway, on a serious note, Demon is ready to rock and roll. He's the our AOA United States champion defeating A2J a couple of weeks back. It was a uh, interesting contest. And apparently, regarding speaking of the United States Championship, we have A2J who deserves his shot at the United States Championship. But also, well because he never got his singles rematch and Rivers because uh, he obviously got the month finished business with Demon. So we're not 100% sure what's going to be going down with the United States Championship but apparently I'm receiving words that the ice will be in the building next week to not only explain some things about the United States Championship but other things that are going to be happening and just by that point, two weeks time at AOA last stand. But for right now, even as a as, as powerful, as strong, as quick, as agile as this seven foot four man is, he has a tough 
task ahead of them. Unless somehow Dave shows up again. I mean, we remember Dave from last week. Remember Dave showing up last week. So Dave could show up again and be of uh, assistance to Demon in a way. But if I change, he doesn't show up. And uh, this is a handicap match, and he's Demon probably in trouble. It's not going to be a good day in the neck of the woods for him. And his opponent are, for one, one of his potential challengers, and I say potential challengers, because again, we don't know what the situation is going to be with the United States Championship yet. We're going to find that out next week. But a J for the moment, is definitely a possible candidate for the United States Championship. And a J is kind of still salty about the fact that he had to simply defend his United States Championship in that match that he says he wasn't prepared for even though we found that out in the beginning of the night so if you thought you were going to get a night off then you do not know who you're messing with <laughs> the eyes of the man that do not play games but anyway though with all that being said Adrian J has giant a giant man a giant dude as backup for tonight and he hopes, and they're ordinary than not here, ordinary than not here, he's not out here, but apparently him and Bont are going to be coming out here on a mission. They're going to be coming out here with the intent to hurt, beat down, destroy, do whatever they got to do. And Demon, I'll bet money A2J is going to be appreciating this because if he does, because <laughs> if they do, that one less thing that Demon got to really worry about. Or that A through J really got to worry about. And then do, again, a potential match at last night. Now, as far as who his partner is, well, this dude is a, he's a big dude. This guy is a big man. And who has a match against Reaper at AOA last night. Monster are AOA World Champion, ladies and gentlemen. This dude has been on an absolute path of destruction since he has arrived. He has beat Morgan, he beat Kazarian, and recently he just won a fatal... Well, we, well he destroyed Brandon Storm last week. That dude, uh, man, he's going to be in recovery for a good long time. He, he's going to be in recovery for a while. But then, most, most recent time defense, he beat Morgan, Kazarian, and Lesnar. That's saying something. So, Monster is a dude who, and, oh, on, on, and also on a side note, Demon and Monster have had their, uh, have ran into each other before. About a little bit over a month ago. During, like, before the AOA. I believe it was the AOA and most wanted pay-per-view. It was weeks of Iron Man matches. And Demon was Monster's opponent. We saw Demon take the worst beating we've ever seen. And handicap matches underway. And Demon starting this thing off with a flurry of slaps to A2J. And if I was A2J, I would probably try to get out of there as soon as possible. But for right now, A2J is going to do what he can to try to at least fight back into this thing. Oh, that's counter. And, oh, that's Bulldog. My A2J taking him down, and oh, here we go. Now this is what this is what he wanted. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the guy that uh, that it would be the better idea to stay in this match the longest, and that's why A2J was real quick to make the tag to monster the AOA World Champion. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute, Mark. Demon now starting to, trying to fight back a little bit here. Um, fight back here, trying to kind of hang in there with the world champion and that suicide dive out to the floor. Taking down Monster. Demon is not backing down. He's not intimidated at all. These two men just staring eye to eye with each other. Ooh. 
monsters are throwing kicks, throwing headbutts, throwing whatever, anything you can throw at him. Then him into the corner. Brainboard, oh, ooh. Brainboard, Monster kind of landing around the back of Demon's head there. God. Oh, that's Yurinagi. Trying to go straight into the cover after that one. Not a bad idea. You do kind of take a good bit of a fall and oh. Two count. And two count, Demon kicking out at two. Demon is staying in this matchup. Look at this. Oh. Send them all. Great. Here we go. Wait a minute. Demon counter. Elbow straight to the side of the head. High knee straight to the face. Not a bad idea. Let's go. Demon is fired up. Ooh. The slap. Yo, he slapped, bro. This dude did the slap off the dude. This dude seriously didn't just slap him off the dude. He did. He did. Is he going to continue to go to work on him? I bet money. I bet. How much money even bet that demon is wondering what the heck is going on? With, you know, with, with him and his partner. Oh, man. Swinging side slam. Again, Monk is going to go for the cover the demon kicks out. Those are demons, though. He's kind of been, you know, in a rough spot. He doesn't have his partner, his buddy, his best friend to tag. And here we go. Here we go. Now, here comes. Make the tag to A2J. Look at that. Oh! A little teamwork action. A little teamwork action going on here with A2J and Monster. Now A2J gonna finally get a couple shots in, dropping the elbow. And that would he might want to do just keep this man down, keep him grounded. You really don't want to get this dude flying through the air. And ooh guy, especially if you're someone like A2J. And now Demon finally back on his feet, trying to get some momentum. But, oh. A2J catching him with a clothesline. And I like A2J or not, he's a tremendous, tremendous athlete. And wait a minute, and he also likes to get fancy in the air. Going for it, drop kick. Nice drop kick, taking him down. Demon like getting caught up in the, in the rope in kind of a bad way there. Going straight into the cover. And kick out. Those are, he's been taking a lot of, a lot of stuff so far. Look at this, the strength of A2J on display. Impressive. Very impressive. Look at this. Oh, caught him midair. Power slam. Caught him with a power slam. But Mondo with a springboard. Knees straight to the back of the head. Now A2J, of course, is going to take advantage of that numbers game. Getting getting the better of him. A2J is starting to fire up, though. Look at that. Ooh, that form. That powerful form of A2J. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. This is Frank here. Demon tried to go for that flying knee that we've seen him go for before. Try to go for a German. Nope, gets counted out of that one. Nice back kick. Huge back kick. A demon and demons look like he's about to fire this thing up. Keep this thing in the second gear. Knee to straight to the head. Oh my gosh. Look at this one swollen. And throw ATJ straight into the wind. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh God, oh God, huge choke slam from the top rope. A2J may just be laid out here, too. And A2J able to kick out, Monster getting in this, Monster gonna get in this thing, gonna take Demon's head off the floor. Absolutely leveled him. And now by giving A2J again a chance to get some control. Good guy. Oh, new shoulder tackle. Backflip straight into another shoulder tackle. Nice. Ooh. Oh, God, the huge drop kick. Taking him down. And look at this. Now, ATJ absolutely just stomping him out here. And obviously, the numbers game is catching up. And wait a minute. Here's a way to even the odds. Reaper's in this thing. He's back, brother. We saw him beating and blooded earlier, but he's never getting this noise. I'm going to be out here. And here he is. Here we go. This is great. Reaper of that clear. And they do J. And Malta probably can't even believe this. Especially Malta, because I'm bet. <laughs> yeah, Reaper was the last person he wanted to see tonight. Oh god. Demon whipping A through J. Harden to the turnbuckle. Tag is made. Here comes Reaper into this thing. Check this out. Oh. That's kind of what that's kind of what Monster and and 
Oh, I counted what Monster and 8 j did to the Demon earlier. Creeper is here. I mean, when we saw him, he was a bloody mess and beat halfway senseless in the in the back. Now he's out here helping his partner. Oh, that flapjack to A2J. Creeper firing up. Creeper is straight up firing up right now. Going straight to work on A2J. Dang, that brain buster. Oh, God. Good God, that brain buster. And Reaper knocking Monster off the apron. This dude is going ham. This dude is going absolute ham here. I mean, this is what you get when you kind of make the wrong person mad. I mean, you get this. this ooh, God. Killing him with the clothesline. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, come on. Off of knocking Reaper off the top rope, but A2J still laid out, so Reaper like screw this noise. <laughs> I'm still going high risk. Up in his own corner this time. And A2J slowly getting back up to his feet on one knee. He probably notices what's in front of him. Doesn't want to face it, but he's gonna have to as he just gets leveled with a flying clothesline. Oh, look at this. And the Reaper staff. Good God. And apparently they're not double fan to Jay. They're gonna continue to torture here. Only like Team Wicked can. We is 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 jacked up, it's twisted, but we love him for it. Oh, jawbreaker. That jawbreaker. A2J is in huge trouble here. Springboard. Ooh. They were just leveling him in the attacking him straight in the back of his head. Wait a minute. Look at that Zeman slinging. Slinging him straight into this corner. Zeman going to go make the attack. Wait a minute. What the heck? Wait, what the heck is going on? What is Reaper doing? And Monster gets the tagging on the other side. But what's this? What the heck did we just witness? Why did Reaper just walk out of the mouth like that? What the heck is going on? What? I don't get it. Oh. oh. The monster just see got the tag back into this matchup. Oh my god. What the heck is going on? And the leaping tombstone power driver. Oh my god. What the heck? I'm confused. I'm like confused beyond belief. Monster going for the cover. And that's going to be it. Monster and A2J gets the win, but, but at what cost, though? Monster and A2J picks up the victory. And what, what the heck was up with Reaper walking out of the match like that? I mean, Dean was trying to go for a tag, and then Reaper just left. What? What? Bro, what the heck is going on? What bizarre. Came out here and helped him. But, but then leave, but oh, Monster and A2J stands tall. That's it for this episode. If you can, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other videos and streams on this channel. Spread the word. Spread the word about this channel. Until next time I see you guys, be a boss, and I'll holler at you guys later. What the heck was that about?